Mont Vernon just has so many, you know, so many beautiful stories about slavery there. And but the one I wanted to um, get a little bit more into was the um, the the slave cemetery because as mm -hmm. as you mentioned, I've been there myself. Uh, I think on two occasions. It's sort of like you come down from the house, you go to Washington's grave and you go back to the house and the slave mm -hmm. cemetery is sort of like hidden away in the clump of trees. There's not really good signage leading you to it. So it's, it's this really overlooked and forgotten item, which is pretty common as you say for slave mm -hmm. cemeteries. And obviously we're, we're all gonna agree that the first mark is just terrible. That's it put um, on grounds. And I do want to get you a little bit more on the on the second marker that they put up because um, I think you mentioned that it's it's an improvement. It's not really great yet, mm -hmm. um, but it's also sort of like how, um, when you think about the word choice, they're still saying that the slaves served at Mont Vernon. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe in terms of what, how could Mont Vernon do better? especially with its slave past? Yes, it's a question that I asked myself. What is interesting in those grounds is that as, and this is another, how can I say, another reminder that even in that place where Washington lived and the enslaved people lived, that place uh, changes mm -hmm. um, and is, is still changing. Then uh, the, the first marker that was put there and the cemetery was really like, how can I say, the, the element that launched uh, demands of African Americans mm -hmm. who wanted to have a slavery memorialized there. Uh, and this occurs then, uh, the first marker is there, I think now I don't recall exactly the date, but it's in the it's early 1920s. 20s. Yeah, 1920s, then, this, then, then early uh, 20th century. And uh, the, the vocabulary used uh, is, uh, we refer to then the, 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 the stone, uh, what is engraved is uh, the servants. Mm -hmm. Then we don't use the word the slave or enslaved. <laughs> this enslaved is something that we are using now. Uh, and then that um, eventually that memorial is constructed. This was a memorial that uh, students from Howard University, the, the School of Architecture, did. Um, the memorial itself is very is very simple. Then the, we don't have uh, any figurative element. I think that is a place where people they can uh, perhaps meditate and so on. But Overall, for those of us who did the experience of going there, you can you, you can easily skip the, the cemetery. There are plaques now showing clearly, uh, but people, it's just not far from the Washington's uh, tomb, then people, they will go to the tomb and will not go there. Now, what happens is that in specific periods of the year, especially, for example, Black History Month, uh, when you, you decide to take the slavery tour, which is a is still a segregated tour, as uh, Stephen Small uses this this term when he studied the plantations, because you can choose to go see a slavery, but you can decide to not uh, do that. Then, how that place could be improved? I I think that the way to improve, if there is any way to improve. First, I think that we should not be naive. That was a plantation uh, based on slavery where atrocities were committed that was built on uh, the idea of, of white supremacy. That is not going to, to change. It's uh, a site that for uh, black people from the United States or elsewhere, it's a site uh, of pain and trauma and so on. Now, uh, for the descendants of the families who were enslaved there, we know that there were people there who were the, either descendants or people who were enslaved there who served as guides. They embraced that place uh, as a, a sort of home, despite uh, the, the tragedy that was behind that. Now, one of the ways I would say would be to incorporate slavery as the core element of uh, the place then a person who is visiting that place, for example, you cannot go to, uh, then, uh, to a site where a genocide was committed, where 
uh, then the or for example to visit um, uh, a Nazi camp for example uh, to see just the architecture uh, to see just mm -hmm. the garden that is there and ignore what is uh, what was the the, the main uh, function of the the place and in in that sense when we go for example visiting the mansion that is the most popular element mm -hmm. of that uh, that place slavery should be at the heart everything that was being done people were cleaning cooking doing everything right. in the mansion were enslaved people then i think that whenever whereas this element is not fully incorporated whereas you can have the choice of not seeing slavery when you go to a place like this or whereas you have the choice of seeing slavery as something that was more or less benevolent that mm. oh they look uh, people here do have these reenactors and they they look happy to to be here they are telling us stories about uh, george washington and so on i think that this uh, should not be the how can I say the, um, the most important element? It, it remains uh, at, to this day.